Chicago can be a great place to grow up. Unless you grow up poor on the west side. At age 16, my life-defining moment came. I already lost my mother and father. And now the only person I had left, my brother. Lord knows I was a bad kid, but I knew that if I'd got caught, I'd be held accountable. That's the system, or so I thought. Then Tyrone's killer only gets five years for murder? That day, I vowed that such injustices would never happen again. My last two years in high school, I went from a D to an A student. I graduated valedictorian from Northwestern in two and a half years, then graduated with top honors from the University of Chicago Law and went on to become the youngest judge in Chicago at the age of 26. You are hereby sentenced to death. By the time I hit 35, I was known as the most prolific sentencer of the death penalty in the entire state of Illinois. Then my second life-defining moment came. I'm commuting the sentence of all death row inmates. 167 of them. What I was doing didn't hit me until Governor Ryan put a moratorium on all death sentences after four innocent men were released. But now Governor-elect Fitzgerald wants to reverse it, making the first case one of mine. So I decided to get five members of the community to help me reinvestigate the case, just in case. District Attorney William Hurst. This is my sanctuary. He's ruthless and arrogant, but he's also the best there is. Reverend Long is contentious, but he's the soul of the black community. Senator Alfonso Franco. He's a good friend, and this will be good for him after losing his U.S. Senate race. Tribune reporter Sandra Roberts. She's a pest, <laughs> but she'll do anything to get the story right. Judge Andrew Barnes. I don't really want him involved. However, this is about justice, 